Hey YouTube, it's Kevin with Move Forward Prepping. Today we're gonna be digging up and harvesting potatoes. So here to my right, I planted some potatoes a few months ago and we had a good frost or two. We had a couple couple nights where it was really cold and and uh, it wilted all the, the uh, plants. So I'm gonna dig them up and, and see what we got. You can leave them depending on how cold your winters get where you are i'm in north georgia so we don't really get too many cold cold nights but um we are going to get some cold nights coming up in uh, december january so i'm going to get them out of the ground now and see what's going on with them and see what i could save and see what i can maybe keep for uh, seed potatoes next year but um yeah let me show you uh what i got there's a little red potato but yeah Kind of sucks. I thought maybe I would be able to get... A, I think I planted these beginning of uh, September. And they were leftovers that I had from the last harvest. And they were kind of the odd-looking potatoes. I let them uh, go for a little bit to see if I can replant some. And these are the ones that I replanted. But after the frost, I didn't know how how well they were gonna do see you just want to basically dig out around the stem and you'll be able to feel them so you got this little guy little uh grape tomato pot grape po grape potato dirt all right so we got some that we can we can harvest but yeah you'll be able to you'll be able to feel i mean these didn't really get a chance to fully mature we got another one right here put them grab my little little tube to see what we got maybe that wasn't a red was it a red potato yeah dig you out got a couple little guys there got you let's see what we got here all right, I'm just going to pull up on these guys. I think there's like two together here. Pull you guys out. These little little dudes. All right, get that out of the way. Oh, here we go. It's a nice little one. I always have, uh, I have good luck with the red potatoes for some reason. I feel like, I don't know why, but I feel like they grow faster. Here we go. Not bad. We want to clean these off you can just pick these off the roots so as you can see I had these guys come off of that plant so I think it was it was all these came off of this was the original potato that it was growing off of so yeah it's soft that's the uh, that's the one I had planted but if you dig around you can find a bunch of little ones. You can dig down a little bit. We still got a still got a root there. There might be some hidden. No, I think that's it. But as you can see from this plant right here, boom. You got another one. See? It ain't bad. I mean if you get some nice weather. that see There's a couple little guys i mean it ain't much but it's something you have this for dinner and now you want to watch out sometimes they can if they're sitting too close to the surface sometimes they can get green and if you see any of your potatoes and they have a green tint on them you definitely do not want to eat those. Ew, that's a rotten one. Ew. Let's go over to this side, see what we got here. We got one little guy. Let me pull up this guy right here. Yeah, see? I don't know if you can see. But. See how this guy, who's pretty close to the surface, 
see that green tint you definitely do not want that one that is no good so yeah guys that's basically it um harvested these you want to you're going to want to let them uh dry out cure if you will uh you want to leave them uh somewhere where they can get ventilation not necessarily ventilation but uh just uh be exposed to to air and you want to keep them in a cool uh cool dark place preferably if you're planning on eating them soon you could just you know leave it in a garage or a closet uh you know any kind of cool dry place and you want to put them in you know if you got a cardboard box or a bag or something you know something that's going to get ventilation not a plastic bag but a paper bag you're gonna want to let them uh let them let them air out for at least a few days um you can eat them right now if you want but uh but yeah you want to let them uh let them air out a little bit and uh just double check make sure you got nothing green on there and then if you uh if you leave some out and then they start to grow grow an eye on it like that what you could do is what i did you just want to cut it off you can cut it off right here with a knife and put it back in the ground probably like two or three inches four inches underground give it a good watering next thing you know you're gonna have more potatoes so yep that's it move forward grow your own food thanks for watching